subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss on how you can prepare for ServiceNow Certified System Administrator, here you can see the list of topics we are going to cover in this video. We will start with the basic information required to begin your preparation, and then move on to the study materials and important topics which will help you in your preparation. Firstly let us see the exam prerequisites and recommended knowledge. In order to emerge as a thriving candidate in this exam, it is suggested to Give attention to the ServiceNow Fundamentals training and must have for at least 6 months gained hands-on experience of working with ServiceNow. Then, candidates have the liberty to choose and complete either a ServiceNow Fundamentals training course or the on-demand ServiceNow Fundamentals training course offered in Now Learning. Also, it is very beneficial to any candidate who has industry experience along with database concepts and system management. Candidate must also have some learning of IT help desk processes and the incident, problem, and change workflows. Lastly, candidates should have a comprehensive acquaintance with terminologies of the industry, acronyms, and initialisms. First outline. 1. User interface and navigation, which comprises of 20% weightage in exam. 2. Collaboration, which comprises of 20% weightage in exam. 3. Database administration, which comprises of 30% weightage in exam. 4. Self-service and process automation, which comprises of 20% weightage in exam. 5. Introduction to Development, which comprises of 10% weightage in exam. Now let us discuss how you can prepare for the exam. 1. Demo Center. A good first step is to visit the ServiceNow Demo Center to familiarize yourself with the out-of-the-box functionality of ServiceNow. This will give you an initial foundation for beginning your administrator training. 2. Developer Site Learning Paths. From the developer site, Register for a personal developer instance and begin taking some of the free hands-on labs to become somewhat familiar with the job of a ServiceNow Administrator. 3. Formal Instructor Lead Training Formal training with a live or virtual instructor is necessary to providing the comprehensive foundation as a ServiceNow Administrator. The ServiceNow Fundamentals course is necessary, and System Administrator Advanced and Scripting in ServiceNow Fundamentals can also be helpful. 4. Developer Site Learning Paths now that you have formal training on how to administer ServiceNow, repeat some or all of the hands-on labs you did on the developer site. See if they are easier now and reinforce you learning. You can test yourself to see how much you can do without looking at the detailed steps. 5. ServiceNow YouTube Channel The ServiceNow Support YouTube channel is a good place to see short videos on various subjects to help improve your breadth and depth. 6. Certifications Once you have completed the training and gotten some hands-on experience, you should look to become a Certified ServiceNow Administrator as well as keep your certification up to date with the Delta certifications, updated with each ServiceNow release. 7. Repeat. Learning as a ServiceNow sysadmin never ends. If you think you did it all, go back to the top step and visit them all again. You will be surprised how much you have learned as well as how much you forgot what you learned before, plus ServiceNow is continuously changing. So you must never stop learning. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.